All right, let's continue on with our section number five, uh, word problems. We're going to go now to the bottom flap. Uh, one thing before I continue on that class, when I drew this circle from the previous question, and I really didn't spend the time to divide it up into 16 pieces, but I probably should have at least drawn on here what we had to figure out, which was the radius. And the radius of this circle was going to be 13 inches. That helps us find the area and then go ahead eventually and find the total area of the five pieces. All right, let's go to the bottom flap. Next question. The pizza pictured is divided into six equal slices. What is the circumference of the pizza? When you take a look, class, you can see this nine here. It has a symbol for inches. You know that's not talking about the angle measure or the arc measure because it's not in degrees. And that actually is giving us the radius of the circle. So right here, it's telling us the radius of this circle or this pizza is nine inches. Well, since we know the circumference is equal to two pi r, then we know it's two pi times nine which is equal to 18 pi inches. So our circumference of this pizza, or the length of the crust, is 18 pi inches. Just for comparison later, let's go ahead and convert that to a decimal, just so we can compare it to our final answer. So, hold on a second, let me move this over. We've got 18 times pi is equal 56.5 five the four goes away if we round to one so 56.5 so it's going to be approximately 56.5 inches is the length around this pizza all right now the question is what is the length of the crust for one slice well we've got six equal pieces that's interesting you know what class i see this pizza is divided into six pieces but i'm looking at my actual pizza and this pizza is divided into eight slices. You know, let's change that. Let's make this eight slices so it matches our diagram. Eight equal slices. So what's the length of the crust for one slice? I just want to know what is the length of this arc right here? It'd be easy to find the degrees. 360 divided by 6 gives me the degrees of each piece, and that degree is the same as the degree of the, of the crust, because these are central angles. But we don't want degrees, we want the length. And the way we find this out is we're going to write a proportion. Now there's two ways. I'll do the long way, the proportion. Proportion goes like this. The length of the crust, let's make that x, the length of the crust over the total crust length is equal to the degrees of the piece divided by 360 or we could do it this way we want one piece over a total of eight pieces so there's another way to look at it yeah we could have we could have taken 360 divided it by eight and got a degrees it's the same as one over eight we want one pizza crust over a total of eight pizza pieces. So here's our proportion. Again, you see class, the power of proportions. If you understand how to set these up, it makes these problems pretty easy to solve. <clears throat> All right, let's cross multiply. This is 8 times x is equal to 18 pi times 1. That's just 18 pi. I'm going to divide both sides by 8 and you're going to end up with x is equal to 18 pi over 8. It's not very clear. Let's see if I can write that 8 a little bit better. And let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. 18 pi over 8 is our exact answer. Let's find our estimated answer. Can't find my cursor. Here we go. 18 pi divided by 8 is equal to 7.06 or 7.1. About 7.1. Oops. 71 7.1 and this is a this is a length so it's just going to be inches 7.1 inches 
All right, now, here's the proportion method. Again, class, I've taught you before. When you see that you're dividing something into equal pieces, you could have also done this. You could have just said, well, hold on. The whole crust is 18 pi. I want 1 out of 8. So I'm going to divide this into 8. So 18 pi divided by 8. Notice you could have gone directly to this final fraction and then multiplied it out to get your answer. So another way to do it, just real quick, is you could have gone the long way and said, let's just do it the way we learned uh, in the previous sections. I've got x over 18 pi is equal to something over 360. What is the degrees of a piece of pizza? Well, it's 360 divided by 8, because there's 8 different slices. That's 45 degrees, and you could have solved it this way as well. That would have given you the exact same answer. You'd have gotten 360 times x is equal to 45 times 18 pi. And I'll just show, trust me, class, when you work this out, well, actually, let's just finish it up. It's going to be x is equal to um, 45 times 18 equals 810. So 810 pi over 360. I just multiplied these two numbers together and then divided both sides by 360. Let's put that on our calculator and see what we get. 810 pi divided by 360. What a surprise. 7.1. Approximately 7.1 inches. So lots of ways to set this particular problem up. Uh, if you do it correctly, doesn't matter which way you set it up, your answer is going to be exactly the same. 7.1 inches is the length of our crust. All right, let's do one more. Um, let's do the one uh, to the left, to the right. The pizza pictured has a diameter of 14 inches and is divided into three equal slices. Oh, that's nice. Got equal slices again. What is the area of the pizza? First thing is, let's find area. We know the diameter is 14. That means the radius is going to be 14 divided by 2, which is 7 inches. Area, get that different color. Area is equal to pi r squared, which is pi times 7 squared, which is 49 pi. And that's going to be inches squared, because area is in squared units. If we want to go ahead and throw this in our calculator just to get an idea what that is in actual square inches without the pi in there, let's do that just so we know. So 49 pi is equal to 153.93, so 153.9, 153.9 inches squared. Sometimes, again, class, I'll do that calculation just so when I get my final answer, it makes sense. But you don't want to do this when you're going to use this number for another problem, because once you round it, if you round again, you're going to throw off your answer. Okay, what is the area of sector A? B, D. So we want this sector right here. Well, the good news is they told us that we're dividing the pizza up into three equal slices. That means this piece, A, B, D, is one third of the total pizza. So we got a fast way and a slow way to solve this. Either one's going to get us the right answer. The first one is we can set it for proportion. The area of sector ABD, which is going to be, you know, I don't like this, this last answer class. I just left this as x equals 7.1 inches. I tell you guys all the time, don't do that. What is the length of the crust? This should be in a sentence answer. The length is 7.1 inches. So sorry, you should write that as a sentence answer. Okay, what's the area of sector ABD? Let's represent that as X right now instead of drawing our symbol. Ah, you know what? Let's draw our symbol. Sector ABD 
over the whole area. That's the area of sector ABD over the whole area, which is 49 pi, is equal to, we're going to eat one slice over a total of three slices. All right, let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we've got three times the area of sector A, B, D, and I know my area symbol's not very good, is equal to 49 pi times one is just 49 pi. And that means divide both sides by three, we've got area of sector A, B, D of A, B, D is equal to 49 pi over 3 and that is approximately 49 pi divided by 3 equals approximately 51.3 51.3 remember this is an area measurement that's in inches squared that looks right class take a look if our total area is 153.9, one slice out of three is about one third of that. Now we could have also done this the fast way. You could have done a slower way. You could have said, all right, three equal slices, 360 divided by three is 120. So it would have been sector, uh, area of sector ABD over 49 pi equals 120 degrees over 360 degrees. That would also have worked. Here's an easy way as well. If the area is 49 pi, and you know you're dividing the pizza into three equal sections and eating just one of those, then you can just divide it by three. That would have got you directly to this. Again, lots of different ways to set this proportion up. Um, as long as you're doing the math correctly, you're going to end up with the same answer. Hopefully you're listening to this and you're understanding what I'm explaining to you about how to set up these proportions. Uh, again, let's just show you this. You could have set it up like this as well. You could have said sector A, B, D over 49 pi is equal to, let's see, 360 degrees is a whole pizza divided by 3 is equal to 120. And that's going to be 120 over a total of 360. That's going to get you the exact same answer as this and the exact same answer if you just take the whole area of the pizza and divide by three to get one slice. All right, there is our third word problem video.